In this video, we will be going over some fundamental programming concepts. These programming concepts will help you understand the beginnings of how programming systems work and how to use some basic functionality in these systems. Now, some of the topics that will be discussed are related specifically to the R programming environment rather than general programming environments like Java, uh, JavaScript, uh, C-sharp, uh, etc. However, uh, the concepts that we discuss will travel over to other programming languages as well. Let's start by talking about the first uh, programming concept that we need to be familiar with, and that is that of variables. What are variables? Variables in R and in other programming languages are locations in a computer's memory to hold data. These locations are temporary locations and do not persist once the computer has been restarted or once the programming environment is closed. So, Variables are temporary locations to hold data. What kinds of data do these locations hold? Variables can hold many different types of data. The types of data that a variable can hold is specific to the programming language uh, on the machine, on the computer. Specifically in R and RStudio, uh, we can work with character data, numeric data, integer data, logical data, and other complex data types. Other programming languages may have variables that hold other types of data as well. Specifically for R, these are the different types of data that variables in the R environment can hold. Now, a question that is frequently asked is, if a variable holds a certain type of data, can it only hold that type of data? Once a memory location holds a type of data, can the type of data that that memory location holds change? And specifically for R, yes. That same variable can hold different types of data. A variable can start holding an integer data and change to holding text or character data. This is known as loose or dynamic typing uh, when talking about uh, programming. Loose or dynamic typing refers to the fact that a programming language can change the data type that a variable holds on the fly. Some programming languages do support loose and dynamic typing, specifically R. Other programming languages may not support loose or dynamic typing. How do you assign values to variables? R uses the equals to operator or arrow assignment to assign a variable uh, to assign a value to a variable. The variable name is specified on the left-hand side and the value corresponding to the variable is specified on the right-hand side. Now, most programming languages have conventions related to the names that variables can have. Specifically in R, the name of variable needs to start with a letter. It can include numbers and only dot and underscore uh, special characters are allowed in variable names. What can one do with data that is stored in variables? One can perform a variety of operations on the different types of data that is stored in variables. Specifically, one can perform arithmetic operations, uh, and utilize the entire range of arithmetic operators such as plus, minus, division, multiplication, exponents, uh, 
and, uh, and other operations. One can also perform relational operations. Relational operations are operations where one is comparing variables to each other or variables to some other value. Relational operators include greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, equal to, and not equal to. One can also combine operators together using logical operators, specifically the AND logical operator and the OR logical operator. The AND logical operator is represented by two ampersands, and the OR logical operator is represented by two vertical lines. R has some miscellaneous or special types of operators, one of which is the colon. The colon is a type of operator that allows one to create a series of numbers within the R environment and associate that with a variable. One often wants to take a look at information about a variable. One of the things that we can do is we can print out the value of a variable using the print function. A function, and we are taking a look at three functions right now. A function is a piece of pre-programmed code that is present in the R environment. The print function prints out the value of a variable. The class function prints out the class or the data type of the variable. And the RM function removes a variable from the working memory. One other thing to note about operators is that arithmetic operators, relational operators, and logical operators are uh, present in most other programming languages as well. However, miscellaneous operators sometimes are specific to a certain programming language. In this case, the colon specifically applies to the R programming language and not to other programming languages. These functions, print, class, and rm, are specific to the R programming language as well and do not apply necessarily to other programming languages. However, this is not to mean that these things are not possible in other programming languages. Each programming language has their own language-specific functions that accomplish similar